Okay, so five questions on circles. So we've got a couple of standard questions to start with on the area and circumference, and then a couple of circle theorem questions, which are trickier and definitely B grade. So uh, we'll get to those in a sec. What you need to know here is you must know the formula that the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now, you can take pi to be 3.14, or you can take pi to use the pi button on your calculator if you've got one, if you've got a scientific calculator. Um, I'm going to use the pi button, but um, your answer will be should be very similar if you do use 3.14. So I'm going to use the pi button on my calculator, and this time the radius is 6.4. So I'm going to do pi times 6.4 squared. So on my calculator, 6.4 squared times by pi and I get the answer 128. And I'm going to write the full answer out. 6796351 centimeters squared and that is approximately equal to, if I round to the three significant figures, if I take the first three digits, one, two, and eight, and I, the six is going to round it up. So it's 129 centimeters squared to three significant figures. Okay? This time we're asked to work out the circumference. Now, the form of circumference is a couple. You can know it as pi times the diameter, or you might know it as two pi r. Now, they're both the same, obviously just means that um, the diameter is twice the radius, which you should know anyway. So to work out the circumference, again, I'm going to use the pi button for my calculator, and I'm going to times it by 10.4. I times it by 10.4 because that is twice the radius. So the circumference of uh, this one is um, pi times 10.4. And you get the answer, full answer, 32.672536. Approximately equal to, we're going to two decimal places this time. So I want 32.6, and I want to cut the number off there. So it's 6, 7 meters to two decimal places. This one's just meters because this is just the length on the outside of the circle. So it's just a length. This one's in meters. This was measurement in centimeters, but it was an area, so it's centimeters squared. Okay, let's move on. A and T, A, T, and B, T are both tangents to the circle. So this is it. Tangents means it's a line that just touches the outside, but it also means that this angle and this angle and 90 degrees because tangents touch radius at 90 degrees okay so we also is told that FA angle AOB is 140 so this angle in here is 140 degrees name any right angles. Okay, well, I've just said that the tangents touch at 90 degrees, so OAT traveling from O to A to T is a right angle, or just consider that uh, the middle letter is equal to 90 degrees and OBT from O to B to T is also 90 degrees. So that's part A. And this time we're asked to find angle ATB. So we want to know this angle in here. Well, if we consider around the outside here, that shape there, going around the outside, is actually a quadrilateral. And quadrilaterals add up to 360. So I've got 90 plus 90 plus 140 so that's what's that uh, 
230, 320. So to make a total of 360, A, T, B must be just 40 degrees. Okay, adding up inside to 30 degrees, um, 360 degrees. Again, A, S, and A, T are tangents. Okay, so if they're tangents, we know that that's true. Those two are right angles. And calculate the size of the angle S, A, O. Oh, I want if S, O, A is, oh, okay, so it's a bit tricky now. So let's put a line in from S A. It's asking us to put a line at the middle there. Okay? And it tells us that calculate the size of angle S A O, so we want to find this angle in here, let's call it X, if S O A is 48. So in this case, we've got 48 degrees. Again, we had to use this tangent meeting at 90 degrees, so tangent meets a radius at 90 degrees. So what we need to do, we've actually got a triangle in this case. So if I just highlight the triangle I'm talking about, that's the triangle I'm talking about. So we need to know, we know that 90 plus 48 is equal to 138 degrees. I want to get to 180 because that's a triangle, so I need to do 180 minus 138 comes up with 42 degrees so angle S A O 42 degrees ok both these questions are B grade questions and you have to know about tangents making radius there's some other rules you have to know um, but there aren't any questions in this video on that ok circle has wheel diameter 0.8 meters. The wheel goes around 25 times. How far has the circle moved? Well, if it's gone round, we want to find out how many has gone round 25 times. So we need to work out the, the circumference of the circle first. So remind ourselves the circumference is pi times diameter. So I'm going to use the pi button. So the diameter is 0.8. So the circumference is pi times 0.8. So um, 0.8 times pi, just tap it into your calculator. When I'm using the pi button, you get, might get a slightly different answer otherwise. If you use 3.14, 2.51, meters. That's how long it is around the outside of the uh, circle. So the wheel, the tyre, has a length of in one revolution it goes 2.5132 meters so after 25 times so the distance traveled is that number times by 25 because it's going around 25 times it would have traveled a total of 62 and if we write the full answer out 8318530 7 meters which is approximately, because we're going to three significant figures, so we went to 6, 2, and 8. 3 doesn't round it up, so it's 62.8 metres to three significant figures. Okay, and here end of the video.